Hi there YouTube, so I wanted to do a video on my favorite mascaras and currently I'm loving four mascaras and I will start with one that I do not have, actually, so I'm loving five mascaras. The first one that I'm going to talk about is the Revlon Grow Luscious. I Uh, that was my favorite for like six months. I used it six months in a row. And the only reason I don't have it is because I had other purchases that I had made. So I decided to go ahead and use those. So things that I liked about the Revlon Grow Lush. It's supposed to supposedly um, promote hair growth or, you know, eyelash growth. But what I found is that it just, you know, every... Your eyelashes will shed just like your hair, and I noticed that it did not shed as much, so I did not lose eyelashes as much, so then maybe that was just promoting like, um, or it looked thicker because the eyelashes were not falling out. So, I did like it. It was, the pigmentation, it was very black. It was really nice. It did not goop. Um, even if I sweated, it did not end up, you know, below my, on my um, cheek here. It also was not waterproof, so the fact that it did not end up on my cheek was really good. And it did a really good job of separating. Okay, now the only thing I found with it was that I couldn't, my eyelashes didn't hold a curl with it. So, but I have a really big problem with my eyelashes holding a curl. So, I really, you know, other than the whole not holding a curl thing, I did like the mascara. Now, as far as mascaras that hold a curl, <clears throat> I'm loving this Lash Blast volume. Or no, it's just Lash Blast. Lash Blast. Lash Blast Hydrofuge Waterproof Mascara. That's a hint. That's a mouthful. Very And very black. And I will show you the brush on this. The brush is a plastic brush, and it has shorter bristles on this side and then longer longer um, bristles on this side. And this is probably my favorite mascara right now. And it is waterproof. This is the only waterproof formula that I'm going to show you out of all the mascaras I'm going to show you. Uh, and the reason is because I work outside and I'm sweating constantly, and the sweat is just like dripping down my face. And... It'll, you know, get into my eye, it'll get in through my lashes, and I'm constantly having to wipe, so I didn't want to take the chance of wiping and having, like, a big old black smear. So I got this waterproof formula, <clears throat> and I love it. I'm in, I'm in so much love with this mascara. It holds the curl, okay? I don't know if you could see. I'll show you. It is holding the curl like really well and that's like very impressive to me because most mascaras do not hold a curl. I have very long lashes that want to stick straight out and this one actually holds the curl. So um, I, you know, curled my eyelashes about 9.30, 10 o'clock this morning and it's already 2 o'clock and they're still up. So that's, you know, I mean it's not that much time but my lashes would have already fallen if they were going to fall. <clears throat> this does a really good job of, okay, so if you wanted it to be volumizing, I wouldn't say it's so much volumizing, but it does do a really good job of separating the lashes and make them, make, make them, making them look lengthened. So I, I really, I swear by this, um, if it runs out and I run out of my others, I will definitely come back to this because it's probably my favorite mascara of all time. And it's just because it holds my curl. Another one that I really love is the Maybelline Falsies Volume Express, and this is in Very Black also. And this is kind of controversial. I know a lot of people on here do not like this mascara, but I actually really love it. You can see it has a curved style brush, and this is just a regular bristles. And to me, this mascara is awesome too. It's very black, which... The color is very black, but it is very black. It does a great job of separating your lashes and lengthening them. They just, they look amazing.
Uh, once again, if you're looking for something to look thicker, it's not really going to do that because it does such a good job of separating the lashes. But it, to me, it's probably, you know, one of the better drugstore mascaras. I do not know what the waterproof formula is like, but the regular formula is an A++++ for me. Now, I have a couple of higher-end mascaras, and yes, I do have higher-end mascaras, but the only reason is because they came in sets. And the first one is the Mali Volumizing Mascara. And the brush just looks like this, a very simple brush, okay? And this is in black, just in black. This mascara is really good. It volumizes, it lengthens, and it lasts. Okay, this is not a waterproof formula, but if, say, I'm just going to be, you know, out in the sun, and I'm not, like, constantly wiping my eyes. I have not tried it yet, okay, so I could not guarantee. But from what I have found, you don't end up with black little chunks right here. You know how at the end of the day your eyelashes will start flaking and it ends up, you don't end up with any mascara on your cheek. It lasts all day. It doesn't hold the curl for me. Again, it doesn't hold the curl for me. But uh, the color is, the pigmentation, the black on this is really good. And as far as it being volumizing, yes, it does thicken up your lashes. The only slight problem with this is that you can get carried away and end up with those like spider web or gaudy type lashes because this is such a thickening mascara. Another mascara that I also have that is high end, but I got it. The only reason I have it is because they came in kits and it comes in two different packaging and it's the same, it's the same mascara. It comes in this really cute, like, snake skin type packaging and then just a regular tube. And this is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. It's a 4-in-1 clinically proven natural mascara and it supposedly is, increases your lash volume by 424%. And it is formulated without parabens, mineral oil, petro petrolatum, phylates, phytolates, phytolates. Sodium lauryl sulfate, synthetic dye, and synthetic, synthetic fragrance. That's a big old mouthful. But these are both the same, the same formula, same, just different packaging. And this one here, this the brush is a little bit different here. It's a lot thinner than all the other brushes. Excuse me. <clears throat> This one here is really good also. It does a really good job of volumizing. It does a good job of lengthening. And it is very black and it lasts very nicely. So these um, high-end mascaras are really good. But again, they do not hold my curl. The only one that has held my curl out of all the mascaras that I have mentioned is the Lash Blast Waterproof. And I guess the reasoning is because it is a waterproof formula. It's If you're using a water-based product, it's not going to hold up as if it was a non-water-based product. So that is the only difference between those two. Now, I'm going to mention one that is a definite do not get. So back in the day, I used to spend money on expensive mascaras. And on QVC, they had 100% pure mascara. And I got, it was like, buy, or it was like, buy it and you got two. And I've already used the one and I it dried up and so I have the second one. And this is a 100% all natural mascara. And this is in black tea, okay? And I'll show you the brush on this. Just a simple brush. And it is super black pigmentation. This here will run like nobody else's business. This here will, look how black that is. I mean, yes, it is super duper duper black. But unless you have some kind of sealant, this sucker is going to be on your cheeks, uh, below your eyes, 
like nobody's business, especially here in the summertime, you know, um, where just the oils are breaking down your makeup, you're sweating. This here mascara is horrible. So 100% pure, great pigmentation, super duper black. It's probably the blackest mascara out of all the mascaras that I've shown you. And it even smells good, okay? It smells like, well, it kind of smells like a, a good, I hate black licorice, but it kind of smells like a good smelling black licorice. I don't know how to describe it. It has a really good like candy scent type to it, but it is awful in the sense that it will end up on your cheeks. So my suggestion is just go, why spend so much money at the, you know, wherever. I would just go to the drugstore and try out Revlon Grow Luscious. Try out one of the Maybelline Falsies or the um, uh, Lash Blast because if you're out six bucks or less, it's probably even less than that. If you're out, because you can use coupons, you can use rewards, all kinds of things, buy one, get one half off. If you're out that kind of money as opposed to being out this kind of money, you know, and if everybody in the world on YouTube is saying that they like these, because, I mean, I haven't really heard anybody complain about the Lash Bless. Um, I have heard, you know, controversial comments about the falsies, but I think if you let your um, mascara dry up a little bit, you'll probably like it a lot more. So if you're out six bucks as opposed to 18 to 24 or whatever, you know, then it's not like, oh my god, what did I do? I just put a huge dent in my pocket. So anyways, guys, that's it. I hope you um, found this video helpful and I'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget if you give me a big old thumb. Don't forget to give me a big old thumbs up. My mascaras are rolling around like trying to fall off my vanity here. Give me a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.